Happy Sunday morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning, December 19th. It's about 11.20ish AM. We're gonna head out and go run errands. My sister and her husband are staying with us, but they're headed up to my dad's to help him with a couple things at his house. And while they're gone, we're gonna run some errands, do some grocery shopping. We have still a lot of food in the fridge, but we're running out of a couple of things. So we're gonna go do that, check the PO box, drop off a bag of donations. Because it's that time of year, you get gifts in, things have to go out, right? You make way for the new by getting rid of some of the old and passing it on to somebody who can use it. Um, so we're gonna take a bunch of old kitchen stuff to donation. I also, we also have two big bags of puzzles. Um, I do like to do puzzles, fun fact. Um, but I have two big bags of puzzles I've done already. I do think my sister and her husband also do puzzles and they might want what's in the bags or some of it. So we're gonna wait and let them check the bags first uh, before we draw, donate them. But anyway, we're gonna go run a bunch of errands. I think there's some birds nesting in a tree. I'm not sure that they know it's the wrong time of year for that. Anyway, we're gonna go do that. And I've got to catch up on my daily drawings cause I'm a little bit behind and all of that stuff. So we're gonna get it done and I'll be back. Hey everybody, it is Monday morning, December 20th, I think. At what time is it? I don't know. 20th, it's uh, uh, 12 minutes after 10. What he said. That's 41 degrees outside. What he said. I do think we're gonna try to go for a walk. My sister is still working this morning and we're gonna go run some Christmas errands later. Wow, the stove is dirty. Okay, gotta clean that. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go get some steps in and get some exercise because tomorrow's gonna be just all day in the car and eating again. And like, I need some exercise because yeah, let's not gain all the weight back. Anyway, <laughs> all right, I've got my knee brace on, got my rub on, so we're good to go. All right, let's go to it. It is just after 11 a.m. Wednesday, December 22nd. Uh, my sister Elizabeth and Philip are finishing up their work for the day and packing the car and getting ready to leave. I just put the last little bit or part of the last little bit of the deer corn outside for Bambi because she's been coming over looking for food. And we still have a little bit of deer corn. We might as well put it out, so. Anyway doing some work on the Facebook groups and 
having coffee and catching up on chats and all the things. Because, you know, yeah, see? Hello. Say hi. That's my sister. <laughs> so anyway, so I was doing all that this morning and, you know, typical post-holiday, fridge is full of food. Our projects are piling up. You know, it is what it is. All right. I'm going to get to it. I'll be back. time it is uh i guess we should look it's still wednesday let's see wake up wednesday is 2 37 p.m sister is on her way back home she lives in utah um dad is on his way he stopped in for lunch and to see uh sister off and um, then he's on his way um, over to Silver Falls. My brother is there with his new wife from Southern California, visiting her family. Dad's going to join them for a couple of days and then head back this way. Anyway, that all happened around lunchtime. Uh, in the meantime, after they all left, I went ahead and put together two new Winsor Newton palettes I got for Christmas from the kids. I got the Skyscape palette and I got the Floral palette. Um, each one of their themed palettes comes with empty spots. So I went through my paint collection and um, this is colors I thought if I was going to use this to paint skyscape inspired paintings that I would want to use. Under my finger is just Chinese white. You don't need to see that. But it's just white. Um, and this is the florals palette. Um, there you go. And then I have a regular basic Windsor Newton palette and I, that I've added a couple colors to and I also have a landscape palette and I like the theme palette each one of them have there's commonalities between them but they have different colors and if I'm in a earthy mood I get out this landscape palette if I'm in a bright cheery sun loving mood I get out the floral palette if I get you know if I'm in a stormy moody sky mood I get out the skyscape palette it just depends. Um, so anyway, I like having those around. They're a lot of fun. And they're Winsor Newton paints, so they're not expensive. I like the pocket palette, which is that that size of palette. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. This size of palette. It's really tiny. It folds up really small. I have one full of spare paints. This here. Folds up really small. You can fit 12 half pans in it. There is a space normally for a brush right there. And it does come with one of these little tiny pocket brushes. I generally travel with and even downstairs use a water, the Pentel water brush. Um, but um, so, so I don't use that brush, but I do like it. It makes a nice little fine brush for detail work. Um, I usually take the brush um, section and in my regular Winsor Newton palettes, not in all of them. And I use hot glue and little pieces of plastic to divide it into thirds so I can add three more colors. So you can get 15 colors into the palette, into this little tiny small box. This is tiny and you just need that couple of brushes and a sketchbook and you're good to go. Uh, it's really easy to travel with. So anyway, and you know Winsor Newton paints, they're not, they're not schminky and they're not Daniel Smith, but they're also not bad. So anyway, um, yeah, so now I'm done with that. I'm gonna 
put this away, <laughs> which is what I was just holding it under my arm, which is why you were at a funny angle. Anyway, I'm gonna put this away uh, and a couple other things, turn off the computer. Then I need to get some laundry out of the dryer and make the bed set up. I think we're getting more guests because of the holidays on Monday or Tuesday or something. I don't know. So I need to get the guest room back together. I've, I, I've already cleaned it. So anyway, yeah. And I got to do it tonight because the cleaning lady's coming tomorrow. So, mm -hmm. all right. I think that's it. Maybe it's been a fun few days, but I mean, it's Christmas. It's going to be busy, crazy. And I'm going to get some art in where I can, but, uh, you know, it might be spotty at best, but we'll see what we can do. We just dropped off mail at the kid's house. Now we're going to go drive and look at Christmas lights. We're looking for one in particular house with Christmas lights that has a, let's see, how do we say this in a YouTube friendly manner? Can we say it in a YouTube okay, friendly So we're going to call it the controversial holiday light display. Some people in the area aren't happy. I think that shit's funny. Here's a picture of it right here. What do you think? All right, we're gonna go look at a few more houses and then go home for a cup of tea and maybe some dessert. And some movies. And some movies, today's puzzles. I've gotta do today's drawings, yeah. all the things. I'll be back. Everybody, it is 9 10 a.m. Thursday, December 23rd. Pretty sure. Anyway, um, I am headed out because I've got physical therapy this morning. It is all of, well, my car says 42 degrees, but I'm pretty sure it's a little colder than that. We've already had that discussion. My car is getting old. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go out and do physical therapy. I've got to check the PO box. Meanwhile, Bob is at home and our friend and lady who helps us keep the house clean, Letty, she is fabulous, by the way. <laughs> um, she's there at the house. I try to clean before she comes. I know that sounds ridiculous, but you know, I don't want her to necessarily spend a whole bunch of time putting my shit away. I'd rather her focus on the cleaning, cleaning, if you get my drift. The stuff I can't do because of my asthma. So, uh, anyway, I think uh, the house is ready to go. She'll get some of that done while I'm gone. And yeah, otherwise it's gonna be a quiet day at home. I think we're gonna make cookies later. Um, I just saw a skeleton dressed in a Santa hat on the front of the car. That was funny. Um, anyway, and I'll, of course, probably try to do some art later. I meant to do some drawing in my sketchbook last night besides the daily doodle stuff. And to be honest, it just got to be really late and really tired. And Bob had a very strange movie on that was alternately weird, but also fascinating. I still don't get it. It was the new Matrix movie. Can y'all explain it to me? Cause I didn't get it. Maybe somebody can put something down below. We can have a conversation over in a life of art and self-expression. Cause I, I don't, I watched it in morbid fascination, but I still don't understand it. I'm still confused. Anyway. Okay, so we've actually lost track of how many days it's been since we went for a walk. Four days, five days. I'm not sure. It was, Monday? was that Monday or Sunday? Monday. Monday, maybe. And it's Thursday. 
So we're going out for a walk because I'm start. I don't know about Bob, but I'm starting to feel like a couch potato slug that can't keep its eyes open. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go for a walk. See what we can see. It's cold. It's only gonna get colder. We've got a snowstorm coming in, but we're gonna enjoy it while we can. And wow, that is full of a lot of water. Do you hear that? Anyway, we'll be back. flock is here they're looking at me like did you bring us food i'm sorry unless you like cough drops i don't have anything for you maybe next time Good morning everybody i know it's dark it's not because it's night it's 9 39 or something a.m friday december 24th christmas eve it's just dark and stormy outside Let's put my coffee down and turn some lights on. Um, Mr. Bob is showering and getting dressed. And then we need to go grocery shopping for the kids. They are not coming home until Sunday. By Sunday, we're going to be getting hit with a snowstorm, or at least we're supposed to be. And lots of things might be shut down because that's what happens here when you get like just a few inches of snow. I know, those of you who live in Canada and other parts of the country and the world that get a lot more snow than that are laughing. Believe me, I get it. I think all of Portland owns like only one or two snow plows and they don't have enough drivers for what they do have. It's just, yeah, anyway. Okay, hold on. So while Bob is showering, I'm gonna check on social media and then we're gonna go out to the grocery store for the kids and pick them up some things in case when they do get home, everything is shut down. Uh, anyway, uh, then we also have to drain our pond in the back. We have a small, tiny little pond. We're going to drain it because it's supposed to get to be freezing. Um, and yeah, that one would be good for the pond. So we got to drain that today. Those are our two things to do today on Christmas Eve. <laughs>
is funny. So I can't get us both in one shot without like creativeness because he's a lot taller than I am. Yep. We just want to tell you all Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We are going out for a Christmas day walk and um, because we can, it's not too drizzly yet. It's not icy yet and it's not snowy yet, but that's all supposed to start coming at like three o'clock this afternoon. So we're going to be home being couch potatoes then hopefully. I'm going to be catching up on and or finishing out the 2021 sketchbooks and while we watch movies uh all the kids have dispersed to other members of the family which is kind of okay with us because we are very peopled out at the moment tired we're tired yeah just tired and we've got more holiday stuff starting on monday so <laughs> We're gonna just take a couple of days rest, because why not? coming Monday, right? Yeah, and then my dad's coming on Wednesday. No, they're coming Tuesday, right? No, Tuesday. Monday, the 26th. 27th is 26th. Monday. Oh, geez. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And he and his new wife are staying the night and then right. they leave and then dad comes yeah. again. Anyway, um, very blessed to have so much family that wants to see us, but yeah, I need a break too. Yeah. Anyway, we hope you all have a Merry Christmas or a happy holiday, whatever one you celebrate, we hope it's a good one, that you're having fun uh, with your friends and family and loved ones, that you're taking care of yourself and being mindful. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. And for God's sake, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'm gonna go on my walk and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.